So it's the situation here. I'm about um, 100 and maybe 180 foot up. I've got about 50 to go. This old fur has got a split in the bottom that's happened recently apparently and it's got a huge lean. It's sort of fractured I think, just sheared. So um, I know there's wind on the way at the moment, it's alright. Now and then it picks up and this thing really does bend. But um, I gotta keep waiting for the traffic. Both sides takes about 15 minutes to pass. Seems like an hour, you know, because I want to get these limbs off before the wind comes. I know it's coming, I can see it in the distance. Don't know if you can, but you see the clouds moving really fast across the sky, you know something's coming. So um, I just gotta be patient, keep me nerve. Wouldn't be bothered that much if it wasn't for the split down below in the heavy lean. So um, as soon as this lot's got a pass, then the other side, and then I'll do another five minutes cutting. After the next five minutes cutting, I'll be starting to feel a bit better because a lot of weight will have come off. There's a sign right underneath me down there. It's like a traffic signal, just where that white vehicle went past. It's lights and solar power, it's a, a right lot of shit. So it's totally in my way. So I've got to be really careful and disciplined, especially when it comes to the very top. Okay, let him through, mate. That was beautiful. Can I go show him something that's I'd leave it, Caden, just to dampen the logs when they land. Super distorted. Maybe hold the radio a little further away. I can't hear you. I'd just leave them where they are so it dampens the logs a bit when they land. Happy that, so just leave it as it is. So I'll just do sort of um, take the time to do two logs and then let the traffic through, okay? Yeah, thanks, fuck, for that. Fred Dibner used to say, Did you like that? But <laughs> I, just, I just thank heavens when I get away with it. You know, I say get away with it. I don't mean I'm a chancer, it's just, I was really, really worried about the wind. So all I've got to do now is bring down these logs. I'll do two at a time and then let the traffic through, but I, other than that, I'm safe now. You know, there's, there's, all the weight's gone out of the tree, the crack doesn't make any difference now. I'll just do shortish pieces. I'll try and aim them on the dirt instead of the road. I should be able to tip them sideways as long as I don't go too big. Didn't damage the light thing because that's probably more than the tree's worth. So, um, I don't know what's left to do on this video stuff, to be honest now. I just, uh, what has it been, 13 years or more? I can't really beat stuff like this and I've videoed them time over so I'm beginning to wonder if there's any point carrying on 
you know I think I've done enough I just uh, you, you, you lose interest after a bit and, I, and I'm not into you know videoing and posting mundane tree work and average stuff I mean it's when I say average there's you still got to do it right but compared to this it's sort of average and, and uh, I just that's just not me I'm not after kind of content or quantity or, or like quality stuff but that that might be it so I'm not even gonna video these logs so um, okay I'll leave it at that